Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play World of Tanks. We're closing in on 200 whole episodes here of a Let's Play. So that's a lot, especially for this type of game where, you know, I've kind of covered a little bit of everything, but really I covered probably more than 200 episodes if you look at how many I've broken into halves and also just all the other random videos for World of Tanks I've done. Probably closer to 250 or 300, but, you know, We'll keep going with different types of videos once we hit 200 for World Tanks. We'll see what comes up. But yeah, so we are actually struggling to get our, our wins here. They're just not working out very well. And so we're going to do what we can here to make it up and try and uh, really come back from our little bit of a losing streak that we're running into right now. So anyway, joined by Mr. Gilly as always and of course Vince on our team as well. We're just doing what we can here. Can you hit that, um, the one S? He's actually the bigger threat to me. We didn't even scratch them. Or uh, him. Hey, got in the way. I was gonna say, I think it just kinda aim and shoot. They're right on top of each other. Oh, they're 304s hitting me now. Good stop. One more shot should, oh, and he repaired. Wow, we got a lot of FVs over here. Alright, they're FV reloaded at this point, so I need to bail out of this area. Looks like we're pushing pretty hard that direction anyway. Yup, and there was an FV shell just landing right next to us. Time to go this way, shall we? Go somewhere else. There's stuff on top of the hill which can be a problem, but I'm pretty sure great. Vince has it, don't you? For now. Good to know. I'm gonna back up and get you a little support up there. So you were telling me you were working on a tank earlier. What is it that you were working on, Vince? Uh, the T-51. So you're working towards the 57 then? Yes. Oh, I almost shot our teammate. Now, what is it about the uh, 57 that you're working on? Just because you like that autoloader line, or is there anything in particular that you're doing? Oh, it was just, I figured it'd be a fun line. Got stuff kinda behind you, Vince. Oh boy. Two tanks. Wow, I did not move my turret at all for that one. That was interesting. Thought for sure I was going to. Oh well, so. Oh look, there's all our artillery. I forgot to give you a little hand there. Thank you. So with that, Gilly, are you working towards anything or are you just trying to get your way out of the chi -ri? I know that's what that's you've been it. stuck on lately. chi is weak. Yeah, a little bit. But I guess that is part of how the chi -ri operates. It's not a... Uh, it's a tank that I think takes a little bit of finesse. It's not one that I... I don't want to say recommend so much as it's just a difficult tank to operate. What what about the Chiri don't you like? Is it just a uh, difficult, you know, what about it makes it difficult? It's slow, it has uh, very little pin, and it doesn't hit hard. Gotcha. So it's kind of just a very light support tank. It's an autoloader, but the autoloader only hits for like 120, 130. I was going to say, I'm just and trying to find, figure out what type of a roll it fits. So it feels a little like it should be a support tank or a scout interceptor, but really hard to get it going and doing other things. You almost got killed there, Vince. Yeah, the tutorial one. Oh, he's Morning. dead now. Gonna get you, Vince. Here it comes. Never mind. Here <laughs> comes. They're all dead. Well, hey. Oh, look at that. Our uh, VK got a top gun. Good for him. I only cleaned up just about my hit points and damage so meh not too great not too bad let's bounce into another one and uh, I don't know figure something out so my last video got a whole lot of conversation stirring over you know different changes that everybody would recommend making to the game and a lot of them were pretty much on the exact same point I think the biggest one was remove the gold rounds from public matches or at least significantly limit them a lot of people were talking about removing artillery or limiting that and a few other very good points as well that I forget off the top of my head, but I definitely read through them all, and there's a lot of good commentary on there. If uh, either you two had a chance to go and read the comments on that one. Uh, I've read a little bit of them. It, all, it, it seems like a lot of people are just in agreement and just things that they'd like to see. But again, I'm sure World of Tanks has already gone through all those you know suggestions before and have reasons as to why that it wouldn't work for the game, which, you know, that's part of it. But anyway, so wanted to continue an interesting discussion since we always play together 
you know, in platoons and whatnot. What here's a good good question slash topic slash idea. What do you guys think makes the best platoon? I period could be consistent of makeup. Could be which you know types of tanks or roles work together. That sort of thing. What do you guys think makes the best platoon? Vince. Well, I've been having a really good uh, efficiency with the uh, Tiger platoon. Just you know, a couple of guys in the all Tiger one E's. All Tigers. Tiger P. Tiger. Just we were just trolling. Pretty funny. Really, which is interesting yeah. because the Tiger, in and of itself, isn't known as being great, but I guess the Tiger P is because of its armor. Hello, SU-100. So, with that being said, what about you, Gilly? What about what do you think makes a great platoon? Well, I think it would have to do with the speed of the tanks. Gotcha. Like slow tanks together, fast tanks together. So yeah, you'd rather see things that can operate at the same pace together rather than get themselves stuck out or anything like that. Exactly. See, I, I kind of agree with those types of ideas. I was thinking more along the lines of how you'd operate several different types of tanks together, like a scout and artillery. You know, those are the obvious ones, but stuff like stuff like that. I think that, yeah, you, that actually makes a lot of sense, though. If the tanks need to operate together, they need to be able to drive together, run at about the same speed. You don't want one or two getting ahead of each other and leaving the rest in the uh, just the backfield unable to respond or, you know leaving people hung out to dry because there's more than enough times that that's happened to you know me and other people all right this guy's like yeah, right in my way a uh, key to success Bye, is, Chito. Uh, is yeah. sticking together with your teammates agreed so then with that what are some like groups of tanks that you would recommend operating together i know you just said that you, you had the tiger platoon that you were working together when that was going really well yeah Anything normally, else that you've uh, seen of, that works together? Mediums, normally any type of group. Oh, that's true. Yeah, like any bunch of mediums that are uh, similar speed will always work great because that's your yes. traditional wolf pack right there. That's what you definitely want. That's like the recommended thing. But the problem with that is, of course, oof, that hurt. I think that about knocked me out of this battle. Watch out. I'm going to pretty much be having to cover our IS-6 here. Uh, here comes this guy. Trying, man. Can you just keep him from moving? There we go. He's going to shoot you again before I reload. Wow. Well done. <laughs> now that's yeah, some teamwork. Points. Oh. So, yeah, and the funny part is if he was still face to face with the Uni fired, you'd be dead too. Yeah, I know he backed up and I'll take a good shot in on him. That went real well that he went after you instead of me. Alright, so I'm gonna actually kinda poke around this way. See if I can't clip some shots through the side here, but I might be exposing myself to some. Oh. I'm basically just going to guard our IS-3 at this point. That's all I can do. So yeah, I mean, I've seen us run platoons of TDs. And it, you know, it works out, but it's never exactly the most optimal thing. I think wait, wait. three mediums. Scouts and TDs are good. Do what now? Scouts and TDs are good. Yeah, mediums and TDs as well. Provided that they're all operating in the same general area. That's one of the, that's a very good way to do it. Well, when we were running our tier 10s, I was, when I ran my bat shack, and then everybody else was running big, heavy, hitting heavies, yeah. I, would, I ran through the woods and just spotted everything, and then it was just annihilation. Well, yeah, it operated almost as a scout that way. Oh, no, he was waiting for me. And here I was trying to come around on him just to stop him. Oh, man, that was a good try, though. Okay, well, so... Yeah, I mean, I think the three mediums is probably the quote-unquote best, but easily shortly behind that, yeah, a bunch of, like, heavies with a medium support, because what you want is, like, that, you either want consistent rate of fire, or you want one or two heavy hits with another tank operating in the, you know, the middle of that, just 
keeping them away from swarming and overwhelming. That's the kind of thing that you want to see the most of. Or at least that's what makes sense to me. So, two heavy hitting, hev or heavy hitting heavies that have long reloads, followed by you know a support tank that's either an auto loader or just a fast loader in general. That's the sort of uh, groupings that make sense to me, because that way you got the consistent rate of fire to stop them from really doing a lot. On top of the fact that you have um, those two heavy hitters or one heavy hitter just to put that big punch and stop people in their tracks from doing anything. Ooh, that JP just whipped that shot. All right. So let's bounce into one more and we'll wrap it up with that. All right, so we just kind of talked about exactly this sort of circumstance. Spin around, Vince, we're going north. You guys are going not north. Here we go. There we go. So yeah, anyway, we were just talking about this, how we, you know, have two heavies and a medium. Medium supporting the two heavies while the heavies fire and reload. The, I'm just gonna get you some spots up here. Yeah, the medium acts as kind of a spotter, kind of like a tank that can hold them back while we reload. The um, the tiger kind of fits like a in between role because of its rate of fire and pin, where the IS is really much that long reload heavy hit. Because I'm dealing what upwards of four four fifty, so the tiger's there to hold people off. The panther's definitely there to hold people off because you're um, you're what you're a quicker rate of fire. You're close to, t what, four seconds? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, 3.71. Not bad at all. So he just fired. You ready, Vince? You gotta get up on these guys. I'm coming. Alright, so... This guy's gonna be reloaded here before I'm ready to fire again, for sure. He shoots at your back up so I can sneak up on him. What I'm gonna try and do... It's just side scrape. Oh, Yeg Panther. And I whipped my uh, shot. The IS. Oh, got hit by those guys up there. Damn it. No shots on them. I bounced that uh, IS shell, but he fired well after I or shortly after I fired. Oh, that's one way to do it. Alright, so yeah, this is basically what we meant as like a great operating team is we have, you know, the medium here staving them off from keeping them back while we reload, and then us with the heavy hit stopping them in their tracks. Did I, I ask just fire? Yes. Yeah. Alright, overrun them. There we go. Perfect work. Now watch out for the KV. He just fired, so we have plenty of time to rush him too. All right, let's charge up here and get him. He might fire at me here. Watch out, Gilly. Hey, look, it's our artillery. Get him, get him, get him. I'll get their artillery. Nice. Now we need to go and stop them from capping. Now that we've pretty much steamrolled their uh, their team like that. All right, Gilly, you're going to have to rush ahead. I'm going to try and hit this artillery real quick. Ooh, I shot right below him? Uh-oh. It's all you, Gilly. Take him out. Watch out for that IS, of course. He's the more important target. I'll help you with the IS. All right, now let's swarm that IS. I bounced off him. There you go. There should be some help. You get back here as well, Vince? Yes, I am. Oh, look at that. And the artillery comes in for the assist, too. Alright, let's go and get the... Uh, you want to take the easy shots at that KV-1S, Gilly? We'll move up here. Yeah, you guys got to lead now. Okay, yeah. Okay. Just act as our fire support. Long-range fire support. That's what a Panther does best, right? Yep. That long 7-7 is amazing. Trying to get this SU-100. Oh, he found me! Ah, critically hit the guy. Any chance anyone has a shot at this, uh... 12T? I'm toast. Got him. Alright, so there's the 100. 
Oh, there's a tiger back here. Vince, I'm gonna need your help. Okay, then back up a little bit. I've taken too many hits from the tiger. Oh. Power about even. Yep. We could probably overwhelm him, but it's not gonna be pretty to do so. What is he doing fired. all the way back there? SU-100 just fired. All right, I'm gonna try and hit him. Don't fire. Oh, Vince, need you to move. Need you to move. He can't. <laughs> oh, Vince, that was a terrible spot that you could have ran. All right, I was moving up with the uh, T-29. Oh, and I bounced again. Uh, the T-29 needs your help. I can't, because I'm gonna get shot in the back by the 100 if I do. There we go. Okay, now I can one-shot this tiger, no problem. I can actually take the hit from him. And there we go. Oh, and a uh, top gun for that, too. I'll take it. Wow. I was not even aware of that. And I have eight rounds left. And you got a uh, reply from your tiger you just killed. Yep. I appreciate it, Mr. Tiger. Alright, so at least we are capping. There's their tank. Alright, so... Let's see if I can hit him real quick. Oh! So much for just pulling that shot real quick to see if I can't hit him. Ram him! Ram him! Okay. Nope. Oh. Not an option. Well, there you go, that hat. That's how, you know, platoons operate really well, is just their tank choice altogether. I mean, I kind of got a little distracted with the game, but... That was a perfect operation of our tanks. So we're going to end on that one because why not end on a, uh, a high note? Nice little top gun there. So anyway, thank you everybody for coming out to this episode of my Let's Play World Tanks. And we will catch you in the next one. See you guys.